During the medieval era, warfare perhaps played the largest role in the formation of modern-day Europe. However, what is warfare without weapons? Some of the most influential weapons during the Middle Ages were simplistic weapons such as the pike, the broadsword, the longbow, the list goes on and on. And all of these weapons played a huge role in the turning point of several battles that determined the face of history. During the Middle Ages, foot soldiers were some of the weakest troops on the battlefield. Just like pawns and chess, they were the first line of defense. However, when they worked together, they could shift the tide of the battle by using weapons such as pikes. These were long poles, usually about 10 to 15 feet long, with a spearhead attached to the tip. They were used both to attack enemy foot soldiers and to defend against cavalry assaults. A great example of this is at the Battle of Hastings in 1066, where King Harold used a shield wall with pikes to defend against the Norman cavalry. They were good for keeping enemies at a distance, but were not much in use in close combat and hand-to-hand -hand fighting. The genius of the pike is that it enabled armies to concentrate force and present a formidable line of defense. One of the most influential weapons during the Middle Ages was the longbow. These were typically about six feet long and made from yew wood. They were extraordinarily common due to the simplistic production of the weapon. They were very accurate over distances as long as 400 yards, but required great strength to use because of the high force necessary to pull back the bowstring to shoot an arrow. Because there was a trade-off between range and accuracy, longbows were usually used to shoot a barrage of arrows that would rain down on enemy troops in the sky. The longbow was the deciding factor in a number of English victories during the Hundred Years War, such as the Battle of Agincourt. But began to fall into disuse with the increased use of plate armor that was difficult to penetrate. At the top of the battlefield food chain were the mounted knights on horseback. They were the best of the best of their day. Historians have estimated that they held a 10 to 1 fighting advantage over ordinary soldiers. The broadsword was their weapon of choice. A lethal two-edged blade that was 3 to 4 feet long and weighed between 3 and 5 pounds. It was used in close contact fighting and could easily cut up an enemy's limbs or head with just one stroke. The growing use of plate armor gave birth to a dilemma for medieval weapon makers. Their solution was the development of a variety of pole weapons with a heavy weight or spike attached to the end of the pole that could damage an enemy through blunt force trauma instead of piercing the armor. The Warhammer, which as the name suggests, looks like a hammer with a long handle, was an especially effective member of this class of weapons. They could also be used against the legs of a horse to topple mounted enemies. Another one of the most influential innovations or weapons of the Middle Ages was the battering ram. These relied on momentum and mass to knock down doors or break down fortifications. The mass came from the weight of a large log used as a battering ram and the momentum was provided by the people propelling the log against a door or fortification. Simple, but effective. The battering ram upped the ante in arms race to build, to build thicker and more effective fortifications. This one medieval weapon has passed the test of time. Battering rams are used by police and military forces to break down doors to this very day. The introduction of gunpowder to Europe is arguably the greatest turning point in the history of warfare, and a major turning point in history itself. Cannons in particular revolutionized warfare both on land as well as at sea. They were used on land against foot soldiers and delay siege to fortifications, and on sea against ships and targets on shore. Some historians will say that their first real battle use came during the Hundred Year War. However, other historians, such as Joe Lechner and Northrop Prep in Niles, Illinois, will make the argument that the cannon's first use was by the Ottoman Empire to destroy the walls of Constantinople and take the city. <laughs>